everybody, what's up? Um, back with another video. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about coping with grief. Um, two of my brothers passed away within nine months of each other. Expected. I didn't know they were really sick, and when I found out they were sick, uh, they died within like a month of finding out how sick they actually were. Um, they really didn't talk. I didn't talk to my brothers about health. We didn't talk about that, so um, it, w it was very tough dealing with it. Um, one of my brothers um, was here in New York passed July 25th um, you know I had to we made the decision my family made the decision to take him off the ventilator and he died 30 minutes later and then my other brother who was in West Virginia uh, I found out he was sick um, probably like that uh, September Yeah, about, about that September that he was in a hospital and he had colon cancer. But it was around that summer, maybe August, September, but it was around that time. It wasn't like I knew for years that he was sick. I didn't know. And, you know, always he always seemed upbeat. Again, he never talked about how sick he actually was. So it was, um, it has been challenging to, deal with the loss, dealing with the loss of two siblings within nine months of each other. It's been, it's been, been hard. Um, so I'm, I'm in a grief counseling class. I'm doing grief counseling, bereavement counseling, and, you know, I'm learning skills to cope. Um, prior to, you know, this, I never had any coping skills. I drank, I would drink alcohol. You know, I guess that would be considered a coping skill. Um, and I don't drink, I haven't had a drink in some years now. And uh, so that's not a coping skill. Um, sex, I used to, you know, have sex a lot. You know, one night stands, meet a woman at a club, one night stands. And not only did I use that as a coping mechanism for dealing with grief or death, I use that, it, I use sex and alcohol as coping mechanisms for different types of emotions I would have. And it's, you know, I've been growing, like I'm 52 now, I turned 52 September 14th of this year, and you know, I'm healthy, um, got checked out by the doctor, um, so I'm healthy, I'm not on any kind of medications or anything like I started to think about more, my mortality, you know, hearing about the deaths of my brother. One of my brothers was 55, and the other one was 50, 58, 59, 59. And, you know, um, both my parents died in their early 60s. Um, my father passed when I was 22, and my mother passed when I was 25. And, I, you know, I was drinking then drinking alcohol, so I would numb myself, so I really didn't feel anything. Right now, I'm feeling it all. I'm feeling the loss. I'm feeling the time we didn't spend together. Um, just to, just not communicate, man. I grew up in this American culture, and American culture just, and I speak from my experience, it was this John Wayne mentality, you know, like the cowboy movie. You know, you just, you know, buckle down and, and you just ride through the feelings. Um, you know, that'll work when I got, I'm using these other coping skills like drinking alcohol, smoking weed, uh, having sex um, with different women, um, you know, things like that. 
when I'm doing those things, of course I can distract myself. I'm not doing that today. You know, I'm not doing that today. So now um, it's processing these emotions. And that's where this grief counseling class uh, comes in. You know, they give a workbook, um, which I will show. I will show the workbook, and it's called Grief Share. Um, I don't know if any, any of you out there heard of that Grief Share. And it's, it's been very helpful. I started it um, last year, October, when my brother passed. Um, cause my, bro my other my brother, who was 55, he passed away October 28th, 29th of 2023. So I started Grief Share that November. Um, but I came in and was only like about four classes left. So I didn't do a full one. And then um, my brother passed. July of this year. So I started the grief share. I signed up for it and now I'm going to do the whole 13 weeks. And I've been doing other things, uh, exercising more, eating. And then I got a trip planned to go to the Dominican Republic for the first time. Um, they do paragliding out there. If you've seen some of my other videos, you notice I like to do uh, hang gliding, paragliding. You know, adventurous, adventurous things. Uh, so I'm gonna go over there to do some uh, paragliding. Um, you know, just try to stay in, involved in healthy coping, coping skills. And um, it's not easy um, dealing with these feelings, um, but I am, you know, being with how I feel. And all I mean by that, like being with how I feel, I'm not trying to get up and change how I feel by eating food, um, just doing something just to try to change how I feel, whether it's going shopping, buying some new camera equipment, um, going to a strip club, uh, stuff like that. Like, I'm not doing any of that. And I'm talking about how I feel. I talk to friends and share um, what I'm feeling in a moment, how I'm feeling that day. And this is all new. Like I said, I, I didn't grow up talking about how I feel. And most of the men around me didn't grow up talking about how they feel. Um, today, I understand that me suppressing my feelings um, will support in creating uh, disease. You know what I mean? Like I see a lot of men who, who are dying from you know um, side effects of substance abuse. You know, because they're using substances to cope and they neglect their health behind that. You know, they neglect their health and not actually talk to doctors about what they're going through physically, right? Because when we don't address feelings and emotions related to traumatic events, you know, um, it impacts us physically, our physical body. And there's a lot of research out there. More, you know, most of y'all listening probably know way more about that than I do. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm new to um, like talking about grief. Because uh, I didn't really grieve my, my father, my mother, my grandmother, um, cousins, close friends who passed away, who died. Suddenly, um, tragically, um, I didn't really grieve them. I just got drunk and, you know, pour out a little liquor, right? And so I want to continue living this life I'm living, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't really been able to um, experience the, you know, like I completed, you know, completed my um, PhD, man. Um, you know, that's the hell of a story, man. From my um, story, I completed my PhD last year, and to get that news that you know um, after I like completed the PhD and you know get that news that my brother passed, you know I was like not really able to really just embody this uh, accomplishment. You know, and then it started to get to the point like, does this mean anything? If 
like, what's the purpose of me even having a PhD? You know, so things that I felt that was worthwhile to me started to feel, mm-hmm. you know, didn't really feel like, like, I don't know, I just didn't have any, um, like, I can't think of a word. Um, it's just like, I just didn't have any, uh, I don't know, words are not coming to me right now. And they say this will happen inside the grief process. You know, simple things would be difficult. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I just uh, lost the lust or the um, desire to do anything worthwhile. So on um, this Dominican Republic trip, um, I have canceled this trip about three times. And now I'm like, it's kind of like I'm forcing myself to go. Because I... I don't know, I'm feeling, I guess it's some survivor's guilt and just, you know, like, should I be out enjoying myself, you know, while my brothers um, have passed and my family is still grieving and I'm out here on the beach and, you know, uh, jumping off mountains and stuff like that. So... You know, I continue to make these videos talking about my journey um, and this grieving process. And, um, you know, I put all the link, I put the links to the Grief Share um, organization that I'm using. I put that in the um, description. And, um, yeah, I just needed to talk about this. So, you know, I do appreciate uh, all the folks who, uh, you know, tune in to my to my channel. So